the two speakers on my panel, Nancy Fund and Dan Riker, were about the opportunities that the next president of the United States has to adopt scores of different measures that could further increase the amount of financing available in this particular field. I want to first and foremost debunk the myth that support for clean energy investing is, is uh, disappearing. Uh, you read a lot about this. In fact, it's growing. This is kind of a prototypical chart that traces the entire path of some kinds of clean energy technology. This might be big hardware leading to a new wind turbine or a new uh, a new carbon capture unit or any number of things. It starts, no surprise, with basic research brought to you by the federal government. Where we are now, ever since about to, uh, January 2013, we're right-sizing this investment uh, sector. And we're getting, as I mentioned, more international participation, more strategics, more family offices. And, and the quality of our entrepreneurs is going up all the time. We start with innovation. We move to commercialization. Ultimately, we've got to get to large-scale deployment. And that's a mix of equity and debt. What we need to do is, what the federal government can help to do is make sure, because when you see those top four states, only one of them, California, is one of the largest states in the union. California one, um, Texas, Florida, New York. Uh, so as a policy person, I'm concerned that three of our biggest states are, you know, aren't up there. We don't have a lot of time. We've got to lower the carbon of our electricity in the states where a lot of people live. If you want to work on technology and clean energy, you better understand something about policy and finance. Both of them identified many measures from tax credits to loan guarantee programs to new R&D spending to a wide variety of actually quite novel mechanisms that the next president could adopt and in some cases can adopt even if he or she is not able to obtain congressional approval. The next president has many tools at her disposal. I just, from a, as a practitioner, I'd like to just ask that the next administration really do, do more of the convening and research function for giving a voice to the clean energy economy. Total global investment in clean energy today is on the order of about $300 billion. A simple analysis suggests that if we're going to stay within this two degrees centigrade increase in global temperatures, we've got to pretty quickly be moving to about a trillion dollars a year. The next president is going to have many tools, many, many tools, but, but many challenges at the same time. But I think the good news is that I think we can wrestle many of these challenges and in the end both do well and, and do good when it comes to, to clean energy and climate. So I came away from this particular panel myself quite optimistic that we'll be able, through financing, to actually make that transition to a carbon-free economy.